Hey everybody, Max here again from shopsolarkits.com. We have Alex, our sales manager. Hello. Hey, so it's just, uh, he wanted to hop on and make a quick video here about the difference, the differences and the pros and cons and stuff between the Blue Eddy EB240, uh, I think probably the best seller of the year and uh, the, the new coming in early-ish 2021, the AC200 by Blue Eddy. So Alex, if you just kind of want to hop in to answer some of the questions that we get all the time, you can uh, take it away. Yeah, absolutely. The AC200 definitely has a, a ton of hype behind it. They did a big Kickstarter last this past summer, finished it up. I think they shipped the initial units and then, yeah, are hoping to launch sooner rather than later. But we still have a lot of people calling in saying, hey, you know, I'm looking at that one, but would it make sense to go with the 2400? Or what are the differences? Or should I be waiting for the AC200? And I mean, as we've probably all heard, Will Prowse, Hobotech, all these guys say the Blue Eddy makes such a, a great product that both of them, it's not a matter of which one's better than the other or one's more high quality than the other. It kind of, with when it comes to the solar gen, these two solar generators in general, and usually most solar generators, you're either kind of investing your money in output with the inverter and how much it can it run, or you're investing it in the size of the battery. And for some reason, typically you see the bigger batteries kind of have a little bit smaller inverters, or that's the case anyways with the Blue Eddy 2400. And so if you're looking to power a TV, uh, lights, maybe a, a refrigerator, freezer, and electric blanket, charged laptops, charged cell phones, that sort of stuff. The basics, I guess you could call it. The Blue Eddy 2400 actually has a 2400 watt hour battery versus the AC200, which has a 1700 watt hour battery. It's almost, what's that, not 700 watt hour mm -hmm. difference. So it's you know, it more than like That's a Jack 500 or more than like a, a, a EcoFlow R600 on top of the AC200. So if we're talking about a 100 watt load, say your fridge is pulling 100 watts even, your freezer right on the Blue Eddy 2400, it's going to run that for 24 hours straight versus the AC200, it's going to run it for 17, 17 hours. So there is a, a considerable difference there. Some would argue that with the AC200, you've got 700 watts of solar input versus 500 on the Blue Eddy. Again, if you're running those basic essential things that I just mentioned, you're not necessarily needing to jam as much power in the thing as you possibly can because usually your loads are going to be a lot smaller. And so that 500 or 400, even with one of the kits that we sell is still going to be plenty to get you back up and, and to where you need the AC 200 right. has a really sweet screen on it. We saw in, in Will's test videos and stuff like that. Like it is super cool. You can do a bunch of stuff like bells and whistles galore. So we get some, you know, older folks calling in and stuff like that kind of trying to decide. And it's like, honestly, the blue Eddy, 2400 simplicity is the ultimate sophistication with that thing i have one three buttons on the front of it eight power on ac on dc on it three numbers on the screen it could not be any simpler you can't you do, screw it up you know you there's can't not screw a lot of moving up. parts there it's just it's going to be the old trusty and just keep it's working right just goes exactly where is that watching him jump around on watching will jump around on the ac 200 i'm like holy cow like even for me it almost looked a little intimidating having to like go in, click some buttons and, and stuff like that. So it does feel very much like the AC 200 is it's going to be great. It's a great unit. Obviously we're just, this is more just to say like, Hey, don't rule out the 2400 just because the new one is, is coming out per se. And we still plan on, on keeping the 2400 alive and, and selling those um, well into the future. But yeah, just mm -hmm. the, the pros and cons there. I mean, the biggest thing that we should probably get into now is that's kind of like teeing it up to say, Hey, the 24, don't forget about the 2400. The AC 200 does have a 2000 watt inverter, which is great. Yeah. It's got a 4,000 4, watt surge, I believe actually. And that's always been the biggest gripe for Blue Eddy, uh, the folks on the 2400. products, basically the 1500 and the 2400. It's a little smaller inverter than, than they could have put in. Smaller, I guess is, is relative too, right? It's like some people like it has a small inverter. It's like, I've seen systems with 500 watt backup systems with 500 watt inverters. A thousand watt inverter is still a decent size inverter, but at the same time, yeah, when you get into some of these things that surge full size coffee makers, potentially big AC units, all that sort of stuff, mm -hmm. it, you do need those bigger inverters. But then again, it comes back to, okay, you could, now you can, you can, you know, use more power all at one time with the inverter, but you got a smaller battery again. So now you're going to need to ramp up mm -hmm. your, your solar panels. And so it starts to kind of uh, teeter totter itself into a, a whole nother kind of level, but that inverter is, is huge. That's what people love. That's what will loves the 700 Watts of solar, that extra 200 um, Watts will be huge to, to kind of get your recharge rates up. It has fast charging. It's the other thing we should touch on too, is 58 pound 
AC 200. It's, I mean, it's not going to be, you're probably going to need a roll cart for, you know, even, even the 2400 that I have, when I go to get it, it's like, you go one hand and it's like, okay, this thing is, is a solid 45 pounds for sure. But so the weight thing, I mean, it, in terms of AC outlets with the AC 200, crazy, it's got six of them. Uh, Mm -hmm. The one thing that is interesting on it is that the shelf life on the AC 200 isn't as long as you might think it's it we've got it right here for three months shelf life so that just means that every three months you'd have to go check it and, and recharge it so that is one thing to keep in mind if you're looking for something that you can just throw on the throw on the shelf and, and check it once a year twice a year the 2400s got closer to a six we've got three to six months because that's what we recommend but i believe it'll will hold it a, closer to a year um, and that just means that yeah if you were to put it on the shelf go check it in six months that will it still be holding a charge so yeah, those are kind of the pros and cons to the 2400. If you're trying to run an off-grid shop, if you're trying to run sawzalls, tools, air conditioners, full-size coffee makers, you can't live without a full-size coffee maker. You want multiple things on. You're looking to output kettle, a ton of power. Hot kettle, hot, yeah, induction cooktop. These things, AC200 for sure, massive inverter, going to allow you to do that. You're investing your money in the ability to have the output. It's 2400. If you're saying, "Hey, I'm just TV, lights, electric blanket, charge some cell phones, maybe Bridge, freezer, freezer, that sort of thing," and th- then invest in the battery. If you're n- not super confident with kind of the cl- the digital touch screen, turning on and off, running reports, all that sort of stuff, and you like the idea of just three buttons, you can't mess it up. Then the 2400 again. So mm-hmm. that's just a quick what we're seeing coming down the line, and I'm sure we'll have another one of these videos yeah. in January when the when we can actually sell the AC200. But there's a ton of hype around it. Yeah, we should right mention now. that too. We're going to be selling both of them. Um, yeah, and basically this is kind of I guess almost like a, a video to say 2400 watt hours of lithium batteries never going to go out of style. It's going right. to work well. It's going to be great. The AC200, we love it. We're going to sell both of them. Um, but we, we see a lot of questions about the AC200. So I think Alex has helped to wrap up a lot of kind of the pros and cons between the both. And just to say that the EV240 still definitely has a place. Um, For some place customers. Place. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Absolutely. All right. Well, great. Thanks so much, Alex. That was awesome. Absolutely. Okay.